Oh my, that was, um, that was a very, very ballsy cliffhanger for this episode of Inuyashiki, but also just a, a very ballsy move in terms of just writing, and also when you look at the episode count, and you compare how many episodes they are, for instance, there's only 11 episodes, and this is episode 9, and you, uh, you look at the events in this episode, that's pretty, uh, it's pretty ballsy. That's all I'm gonna say. So, um, yeah, this episode of Inuyashiki, Hero, he, he definitely is a very fascinating character because from what we all assumed from, you know, the last episode, we assumed he was going to go after all of the police force. That's what we all assumed. We assumed he was going to go after all the police force, take them down and all that military, basically, and he was going to carry on. But apparently in this episode, he came to the conclusion that he needs to wipe out the entirety, the entirety of Japan to be able to have a free life. And he wants to, like, move into Hawaii or something. So, just like, yo, this man just went from wanting to have his own justice and seek out the police to now hunting every man, woman, and child in Japan. Like, that is just like, bro, chill. Just straight chill. And this man goes on... A spree. This man takes down a hundred people, okay? A hundred people in just broad daylight, not even hiding or whatever, just takes down a hundred people, and then after everything goes down, he's like, I'll be back tomorrow to do another thousand people. I'll, you know, increase into a thousand, and most likely as it goes on, he might eventually start going higher than a thousand, maybe ten thousand, whatever, but that's still ridiculous. Just this man going in, not caring, and just wiping out every single person. I mean, even the writer went as far as to show that he doesn't even care. For instance, Hero doesn't even care to even take down children. Because you, there was a child in this episode. We don't know how old the child was. The child could have been between, like, 5 and 10. But regardless, though, Hero's like, okay, put the phone up to your ear and all that. But as soon as, you know, he was about to, you know, hurt the kid, the kid, you know, actually heard a message, which was from Yanuyashiki and all that, like, put down the phone, get rid of your smartphones. But still, overall, the scene, the way the writer had the balls to even do that, that was what, like surprised me especially towards the end with the the plane and stuff like yo yo so um this series is quite the roller coaster I, i'm gonna say it, it is definitely a fun watch it, it reminds me of a lot of different aspects from ajin I, I don't know how many of you know about ajin it was a series that aired a while ago and it wasn't the best it wasn't i love the manga though but the anime wasn't the best it had its own problems but i did enjoy ajin i like the theme and vibe of it and i i am reminded of that series when i see the scene in this episode of just seeing like you know how the plane's coming in and all that just like it reminds me of that and it's in a certain way it's even better than ajin because of how the writer had the balls to actually do what he did in this week's episode. So anyways, let's talk about something. Let's talk about Hero and him helping out pube-haired girl or pubehead. Basically, it's like we all assume. The reason why he was helping out the girl, why he was attached to her, was because of his mother. And he was doing the exact same thing as he was doing previously with his mother. He hasn't learned his lesson at all. He's not seeking forgiveness. He is not someone that is trying to really get justice. He's just a very selfish individual, especially in this episode when he looks at, you know, Pubehead Girl. And basically, he's like, why? Why, why can't we be happy and all that? Like, why are you running away or whatever? Why haven't you used this money? And she just yells at him and all that. And when you see a glimpse of his mother which indicates that it's the exact same thing he is reminded of what his mother said to him and so he was definitely using her as some form of coping mechanism to help him out for he can move on because he lost his mother thanks to his actions and he doesn't actually want to come to terms and realize that he's the reason why they're scared or running away or they don't want nothing to do with him he's not willing to accept that and he continues to go down the same path that he has actually been doing since the start of the series so I do like that I like the confirmation letting us know that he is definitely not seeking forgiveness and the reason why he is around her trying to help Help out the girl is because it reminds him or she reminds him of his mother and he's using her as a crutch for he could just you know be satisfied within himself that's basically what it is so anyways moving on though i i honestly had like chills go up my spine in this episode when you know the daughter of inuyashiki was wandering around the entire area because 
I, I knew something was going to happen. Something bad was going to happen because she's like, I can't, t I want to take my phone and all that. Like, I cannot live without my phone. What's the point of living without my phone? And I'm like, yo, what? Like, that honestly is just so real. I don't even know where to begin because that is something, honestly, people would say. That that really is. I mean, say whatever you want, okay? You can say whatever you want in the comments, but you, you cannot lie to yourself within yourself right now that you know for a fact when it comes to today's society, when it comes to technology, the internet, social media, all of these different things and all that humanity can't really majority of humanity clarification cannot live without social media or just the internet in general because we have become so attached to it that we just can't throw it away i mean it's even like this even if you weren't attached to it today's society is built around the internet especially when it comes to jobs and all of that i mean a lot of jobs use the internet they use phones for instance smartphones to be able to communicate find locations all these different things and so without the internet honestly society would be very very different it, it's just the society we are are currently in is built around phones built around the internet built around all of that and so if you don't have that it's gonna mess with you and i thought that was very funny because we do know for a fact that the writer of this series is very aware of social media and how the internet is, you know, betrayed in real life. Because especially with the trolling segment, when we saw, you know, Hero go in and take down the trolls, we could see that the writer is very familiar with how the online world is and how it can be at some points, and very toxic in other ways. And I like how, in this episode, it felt very real, especially with how people would handle the situation. If someone was going around, you know, just, you know, taking people out of over 100 people let's you know talk about examples here so hero after he did all this he took down a hundred people and he's like he's going to be back the next day to do a thousand you know you'd think people would be scared and obviously they are but because of how the world works the world has to keep on turning jobs have to keep going job and you know bosses they can't tell their workers not to come in usually because they got to keep working there has to be stuff going on in the world because you know even though there's this one person doing all this heinous stuff it doesn't matter because Still, things need to be done. Work needs to be done. And so, if they have a job that's very important they need a phone with or the internet or whatever, they're, they're best to, you know, be using it. They need to use it. And so, I like how that was very realistic with this episode, showcasing that even if people are scared, even if people know they probably shouldn't go to work or they shouldn't use their phone, they will do it regardless just because that's how we are as a species. So, I thought that was very funny and fascinating by the way that was just, you know, put into the episode. Hopefully, I'm not the only one to actually figure that from watching this episode i really hope i'm not but uh yeah it's just a really interesting way or outlook to look at you humanity as a whole and how we actually interact with others and how we continue to cling on to our social media regardless of the danger it actually proves or you know gives us so just interesting very very interesting so uh besides that i guess let's see what else can i talk about oh yeah let, let's talk about the uh the plane scene so the plane scene Besides it being just very ballsy and very, very weird, especially since this episode number is 9, and then there's going to be a total of 11 episodes, you, you know what I mean. Basically, it's, uh, it's pretty weird, but, uh... Regardless, though, that scene was very perfect. It actually captured how quick things can go wrong in just any moment. You can have this happy moment where everybody's just chilling. They're getting on, you know, like on a bus, getting on a plane, whatever. And something could go wrong just like that it's over it just it's completely over things go completely haywire that's how real life is i mean you can have this great moment everything looks like it's peaceful going 10 out of 10 it's a 10 out of 10 day nothing looks like it's going to go wrong but then all of a sudden something bad really happens it just shows how life can be anything can happen at any given moment and anything can go completely wrong even if it's a good moment at that moment so very cool stuff too i, I like how that scene was trying to display that so let's talk about the foreigner for a second so this is just a little bit of detail i want to talk about i don't know how many of you actually care about it but that foreigner on the plane, that was some really good English. I I'm not even gonna lie, that, that was some really good English. I'm so used to watching anime where the English, like when, you know, a Japanese character tries to, you know, say something in English, it sounds very weird, and as we all know, it's like a meme at this point in, you know, the anime community, we always call it English or whatever, and when I heard that, I'm like, whoa, that sounds really good. I mean, it wasn't like 10 out of 10, but it sounded really good. I'm like... Oh man, I, I'm kind of upset that the character had to go. You know, he got done in by Hero. I was really upset about that. I was like, he had some really good English. So, yeah, I want to end it there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you hate this episode? Please be honest in the comments below. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. And if you like this video, 
please leave a like, and if you don't like this video, well, you know, leave a dislike as well. And one last thing before I end this video, many, for the past couple days, like since the beginning of this week, they've actually been saying that they're not been getting notifications, and it's not just happening to me, apparently it's happening to all of the people you guys have been subscribing to, it's not just me in general, so just as an FYI, this goes for everyone, okay, that's watching this right now in the video, if you want to continue to get notifications for my videos or other people you subscribe to, I recommend clicking the bell icon when you click the uh, subscribe button, because if you don't click that, for some reason, you won't get notifications for when videos are uploaded. So if you're still having those problems, and if you're even if you're not having it with me, okay, even if you're not having it with me, I recommend go doing it for other, you know, creators as well on YouTube, because it just, it's messed up how you have to do that, but I'm just giving a brief FYI. If you haven't been getting notifications, you're wondering why, you gotta hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button. So I want to end it there. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.